Hello, Killer Cody Waiters. It has been a long time we haven't released a build guide video. So here we go. The main reason I want to showcase this is that in the last play Tale of Immortal playthrough, I have been talking about Warden Quills is actually better paired with a true damage build. That's why here we are going to showcase this true damage build. And just a few disclaimers which I decide to add before every build guide video. One, I'm showcasing this ad. Transcendent doesn't mean that this can only be done and transcendent. Each build have a few key elements. In this case, you need a true damage source and you need high attack frequency. So you can always already start to make the build, basically find out each piece is starting from Golden Core to Origin Spirit. And during this journey in the middle game, you slowly make all the pieces together. And eventually around, you know, Nathan so Enlightenment, you can already make the build work. And Mostly, if you go to Chi Origin, Reborn, and Transcendent, it's just to make the build working better. And the second thing is, yeah, just do not ask me why you are reaching Transcendent so young and you have everything read. Of course, because Chi the Engine, this is a build guide video, not a playthrough. So I will always use the Chi Did character to tell you what are the important sub skills. And again, it's not like you have, have every sub-skill read, you only need to have the key ones read. And I believe if you have watched any of my playthrough series, there are three now I think, you will see that it's not that hard to make you know the key sub-skills read and make the build work, even in a non-cheated normal playthrough. Okay, I think that's enough crap of this and disclaimers. Let's first remove certain mind skills and challenge the Chiyu Tower. Welcome back, and now we can try to get into more details about how this build works. So, if you have watched that video, so-called Fire Tornado, or say most overpowered build in Tale of Immortal, I know that's a clickbait the title, but yeah, it is very powerful that you have that meat. So, it's very similar to that one, and uh, yeah, both of them requires use a true damage. So, here we are mostly using Cloud Shifting Palm with internal injury debuff and we use this to apply the debuff quite a lot of stacks of debuff to the enemy and then each time we do attack to the enemy they will suffer true damage now in that build the philosophy is used fairy flame and damage amplification so that each time we hit the enemy the true damage will be a lot a big number well this one is a slightly different philosophy that we are trying to maximize the attack frequency so it's the same thing in the Fire Tornado that we're using small whirlwind, you know, wind motion and wind ultimate to generate a lot of whirlwind which tracks the enemy. And in this case, we are using Warden Quills, this special wood RMB skill, to generate a lot of small wood quills 
to hit the enemy. About wooden quills, well, there are a few things we need to talk about. First of all, it is a special, special skill. <laughs> That's a weird way of saying it, but you need to be a woman and you need to choose a special outfit so that you have this special natural destiny, which will replace entangling thorn, that special skill, into wooden quills. And you need to finish the game to trigger the night rain special ending. Basically, you agree, you take the elixir from night rain and then fight against Heng Tian, you win against them, but then you still die because of the elixir, then you get a special ending, which is a bad ending, but then, yeah, you have to go through that to get this thing. Second, so, a special thing about this, so what does it do? It generates a lot of quills, or let's say fallen leaves, and uh, yeah, it, it is a lot of attack frequency, that's why we're using this special skill. If you look at each, it's like each of them deals 48 wood damage, and transcendent that is literally you can ignore it but men really want to use it because it can trigger the thing right not only you can trigger the true damage from internal injury but also you can trigger you know tiger spirit dragon soul and finally you can detonate the poison throne and trigger more wood damage 1500 that is much better than 48 i know it's still not much but now the thing you might be thinking but where do I get the point and throw and debuff? Like if I'm not using a wood, martial skill or spiritual skill, whatever you call it. Well, that's the thing here. So let's look at with it. The 10th sub skill here. If skill is cast when there's only one enemy, it will automatically put six stats of point and throw, which basically gives you more damage, right? But also, every time when you trigger the point and throw, it will actually entangle the enemy, which means if you look back into that uh, the battle uh, against the tower most of the time the enemy is actually entangled so they cannot do any damage and also to move which is a great thing i think that in principle they can probably still do damage but because they keep on being entangled so their ai got reset all the time so this makes you a quite safe build as well especially before you come to Chiyo region where you meet those enemies which cannot be controlled, which are annoying. But then there's another layer of things insurance makes you even safer, which we'll talk about it later. Now about the war emotion skill. So there are a few good things about it. First of all, it generates phantoms, which helps us, you know, to do uh, martial skill damage. Well. The main thing is like early the phantoms damage can be ignored, but now this time because we're triggering true damage from internal injury, 16 stacks of internal injury. So each time your phantom is doing damage, it's still significant. That's one thing. Second thing is this thing is instant. So with the fact that you can, you know, refresh a special skill cooldown by using these two mind skills, which I'll talk about a bit later, you can instantly use word and quills again after you use your motion skill. So that's a nice thing if you if, if you are using things like wind motion or anything with the duration, which is a bit annoying. You cannot use your special skill that common. Of course, there are other ways, but I like water, because just like that. And uh, finally, when every time your phantom disappear, combined with the thing in your guide, you will regain some energy, which is quite handy, like to regain some MP back, especially before you get the, you know, Ghost and Soul to give you infinite MP. And finally, there are, you can if you look at the, uh, the sub skills of this motion skill, you realize that I do not have this blink distance sub skill here because the longer it blink, it will actually make you too far away from enemy. And I would rather without that blink space thing. However, there is a special case that you want that blink distance, which is against uh, Chicken King, you know King Luhua, who can seal your motion skill. Well, in that case, if you have the blink distance sub skill, then you can get get out of his seal because you are out of his range of casting that seal skill. But in that special case, you want that. But in general, I do not want it just because I prefer this blink to be shorter distance. And also, we're using the palm ultimate, which generates a lot of palm, as well as palm wind, so that we are really maximizing our attack frequency. So as I as I just mentioned, even in the Fire Tornado build, we have the you know the wind stuff to do 
to increase frequency. So you can, you know, mix up the whole thing as well. So I think the main thing is if you want to use word and quills, you can't use fire rider. So, but you can have the freedom to change your motion skill. For example, if you use the fire phoenix motion skill combined with fire secret manual, it's still very powerful. But for me, I like the water、uh, motion skill here just because I think aesthetically. It looks more satisfying, you know, with a lot of fallen leaves as well as, as a lot of phantoms generated by water. It feels like a thousand phantom and ten thousand leaves, some kind of you know wuxia stuff, and that is what I like about.、It. So, and、uh, basically, as you can probably see, that the main thing really just one martial skill with palm internal injury, that's the base. That's the element number one. Then element number two, we're done quills to apply the high attack frequency. That's really the true, the main thing, and it means you can already put it at pretty early realm as well.、But、of course, in order to make this simpler, you in general want these two: the sword mastery and sword divine power. And you know how if you know how sword build works. Combining with these two, this one have 50% motion skill cooldown reduction, and this one have the thing that every time you cast motion skill, it reduces six seconds of your special skill cooldown, and this makes you every time you use a motion skill, you can immediately use word and quill again, and in that way, you, you cannot because you do not have a shadowless sword or the thing, so that you cannot reduce your motion skill cooldown to zero, but you can keep your motion skill cooldown to about like three or four seconds. And then you are still in a very fast, you know, combined emotion and special skills, and which I like it quite a lot. And of course, as I said, you can use some fire. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with that. It's just when you use fire emotion, don't forget to equip a fire secret manual. Otherwise, it won't be working. So for the secret manual, if you have decided not to use palm, you can even think about using a wood secret manual. And I think the sub skill is not here, but you know that. Basically, every time you detonate poison throne, it will grant you a you know flower spirit, which is actually pretty nice because if you have that flower spirit and you have the thing that every time you enter the battle, you automatically gain flower spirit or automatically and or automatically put poison throne on enemy, which is just another way to put poison throne because again, when you time when you use your Motion skill generated this phantom. It will also put one stack of poison throne, right? And the main thing about this is like you can actually get quite a few flower spirit the buff on yourself. So you your attack might generate a few little flowers. So it's kind of nicer aesthetic way. And also in that way you might even consider using a wood motion skill, which will summon more flowers. When you have six stacks of flower spirit, so I don't think it's that easy to get six stacks flower spirit. But so I haven't tried it myself. But you're welcome to give it give it a try. Maybe it might be fun. Now what else are there? So right here we are also using this thing. If you look at the right side, the sewing tide. So this is a transcendent set, which basically allows you to generate a super palm wind. And because I'm not using fire secret manual, I'm using a palm secret manual, which also allows me to plus three stacks of internal injury. And this, you just need two set to make it work. You don't even need four set. And yeah, if you still want to use fire secret manual, just put, you know, this sword and sword is there. So, but then you can put in something like compendium or sutra. Just get two set of the, the、uh, soaring tide. Then you got super pump wing, which is pretty good. And especially, basically, it actually can be used for any build, as long as you have two set of soaring tide and have the pump ultimate, which allows you to generate a lot of pump wing below you and below target. And you can do a lot of damage with super pump wing, and it's also pretty high frequency as well. But this is of course transcendent stuff. Talking about late game stuff, of course you can you can use rock with its ethereal power, which can reduce your cooldown of your RMB special skill as well. Which is I think I've already showcased this a lot of times in my let's play there of Immortal、uh, playthrough. So yeah, I think that's most of the thing. Now talking about Red Destiny, again I forgot to to claim this that most of the builds. The main thing is really about skill combination. Ruin Destiny was never that important. Maybe it's essential for some build, 
but yeah, it's not as important as new players tend to think they are. But hey, here, let's, let's talk about it. In general, you won't consider Nawana, it's in general good with new. And Blood Power, again, in general good, you know that. Then Golden Core here, Supernova Sword, of course, just like Fire Tornado Beauty, you want to use this to increase your attack frequency. And uh, yeah, again, everyone can take it, so this is kind of a guarantee. As long as you finish the Darius Man Pavilion skill, uh, the quest one. And Blade of Heavenly Eye, it's just, again, it's another element of true damage. It's basically, if you don't want to use uh, Palm, uh, yeah, Internal Dream Palm just with Blade of Heavenly Eye, you can still make the thing work. So, let's say if you are starting the thing and you want to use this build, but you do not have you, you are not sect leader, you do not have palm in your sect, etc. Get Blade of Heavenly Eye, it still works. And what else was there? Combat expected, oh yeah. This one, bare hand, then that's important because I want to use the palm ultimate. So again, this is something like addition, not an essential part of it. I like it because it you know, makes aesthetically more satisfying for me. With a lot of palms, a lot of fallen leaves, a lot of phantoms. Yeah, if you want to use palm, yeah, definitely get this. What else was there? Here I'm using Gochen Soul because it's infinite mana, and uh, always I'm, I'm better. You know, this kind of skills, uh, sorry, Destiny is just like, okay, it's good to have, even it's okay without it as well. Same thing goes deeper to your footwork. Well, this thing, I think I want to talk about just, let's say, so this basically allows you to have 50% less damage taken after 5 seconds co costing a motion skill. And we just talk about with the sword, mastery, your motion skill cooldown is pretty short. So you are always in 50% cooldown uh, damage reduction, but also sword divine power allows you to, within the 2 seconds where you cast a motion skill, to have 80% damage taken so it's it really make you really tanky as well so this is kind of a insurance for you to not die but actually that's the thing i want to talk about when i saw that thing i remember you can see that in the battle and the previous battle and in the next few battles like i'm not taking much damage at all even though that's why i can do it without technique without sutra and the reason of that is because we have a lot of attack frequency right like first of all we are dashing through so and there are shadows for us to take their enemy's target. But also, we are doing a lot of attacks, which means with the attacks artifact spirit, this guy, Tanya, and notice that I didn't even unlock everything, okay? This allows you to, every 100 times you deal damage, you receive 3% of shield. Uh, you receive a shield with 3% of vitality. And yeah, basically you are just having shield all the time, which cancels boss attacks. That's why I can do all these, you know, things without taking any damage. But of course, it's nicer, it's just nicer to have another layer of insurance here. You know, 80% and 50% from here. And for this, of course, you want your sword because 150 times, that's like instant. You got you got that more than 100% of damage amplification. Now, for Reborn here, I use, I just, as you can see, it's most of the red destinies are not necessary, but just be nice. So, Water Burst, I think, again, it increases attack frequency, but also, aesthetic point of view, I like to have more water element, because just with water phantom, it's not enough. And finally, Tiger Spirit, Tiger Spirit token. So this is actually good to have in early game. In late game, because of the, the frame drop, it might actually decrease the damage. I can't guarantee that, but I feel after a bad test, it, with or without this, there's not much difference. I mean, in principle, this increases attack frequency because each of your Verdant Quills can trigger it. Which means in early and middle game, it's really good damage boost. But yeah, late game, I think it does not really add too much, but it's nice to have in general. I think that will be everything about this. I will try to keep those build width a bit shorter. So anyways, we will try to do a few battles. We'll think first thing you do with one entire TV mountain run, but that will be too long. So I will just challenge a few, you know, immortals and end the video here. All right, see you next time.